What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Advanced Hood mod, and what this mod does is allows you to completely customize the HUD of Minecraft, so you'll be able to change around um, like the item bar, the health bar, the hunger bar, and all that good stuff, and reposition it all to exactly where you want it to be, and you can even disable some of them, or all of them if you would like. So if I go ahead and hit H to bring up the hood settings menu, and we have our health bar, and we can go ahead and reposition it, change the style, so we have double, and you can see it doubles up the hearts there, and then we have solid, so it's just a solid bar, and then there's solid too, um, so it's just half away across, and then there's the default, and you can change it to where we have it as vertical instead of horizontal, and you can have it fade to where it's on and um, the fade is on or off, and uh, the fading speed can be set to 8 seconds so it'll fade away when it's not doing anything when it's like inactive um, I'll go ahead and set that lower and we can reposition it to where, wherever wherever we want um, I'll go ahead and just drag it over here just just for demonstration and then we'll go ahead and hit escape and we'll see if it starts to fade away there you go since it's inactive it go ahead and it just faded away and as soon as I get injured it will reappear again so that is the health bar. If I go ahead and hit off, it'll just come back. Um, and then we have the armor bar. Again, everything, you can just reposition everything where, wherever you would please. So I'm just going to go ahead and just move everything around here. Um, the chat box you can move around as well. So instead of having it off to the side over here, you could put it in the middle of the screen or something. Since you're not able to do anything when you have the chat box up anyways, it's going to probably be a better place to have it so you're not looking off to over here. So I'm not going to be able to use the chat box, but I'll just put it here anyways. Uh, and then you can move your crosshair. Actually, no, you can change the style of it. There are many different styles. You can see it's scrolling through them right now. So they're, they're actually some of them are really pretty cool. So there's 32 styles you can choose from. There's even little creeper faces. Let me see if I can find those again. Here we go. A couple creeper faces. And then we have the health, the boss health, or so when you're fighting the um, ender dragon and all that sort of stuff. And then we can go to global settings and we can do... Uh, enable and disable hood settings so you can turn everything on or off and we have a mini map over here so if we go ahead and turn that on I do believe you have to have a map oh so nope so this thing also adds a um, mini map it's not a very clear one but it's still a mini map at that so that's very nice so that is the advanced HUD settings. I don't want to go too in-depth with it. I pretty much showed you everything you can do with it. So that's the advanced HUD mod. So now to clear my Minecraft jar, after I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 7 or WinZip. All these archiving programs work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Mother and the Advanced HUD mod itself. So to get Mother and the Advanced HUD mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the Advanced HUD mod, if you go ahead and scroll down, you can see we have a video and a screenshot here, as well as a little bit of information on the mod. But we want to come down to the download section, and we're going to be downloading version 4.2 for Minecraft 1.2.5. And you go ahead and click on download right here. And this will take us over to an ad fly. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and this will bring us over to... Oh, I apologize. It'll actually just download the mod as soon as you click on skip ad. So that is how to download the advanced HUD mod. Now for monitor, if we go ahead and come over to Resogami's mods and scroll down... Until we see Modeler 1.2.5, you can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything that you're going to be installing. So when you're ready to install it all, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent at data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot Minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, and do open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open can't talk right now. I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. 
Now, you're going to be coming back to your bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader, highlight all these class files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, Go to go, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar, and you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up, and go ahead and hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now, you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder, so if you do not already have one, you will need to create one, and to do that, you want to simply right-click within the .minecraft folder, go down to New, and then select Folder. This will create a new folder, and we want to rename this new folder Mods, so just M-O-D-S, just like that, no capitalization. So once you've created your mods folder, or if you already had one, go ahead and open it up and simply drag your advanced HUD mod into the mods folder. And you go to close that down, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.